Got to test the waters out. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, his topic tonight, I'm really not quite sure about, and I apologize. He had some great introduction notes for me to say, and I can't find them. So I'm going to let him give his uh, introduction, and, his, and I'm sorry, I typed those two copies, and I put them in my bag, and put them them away or something. I don't know. But okay. he's got some interesting things to say, and we can all learn from it, and I think we can all use what we can have. Dennis Evans, All right. Big round of applause for Dennis. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been looking forward to this for like three, no, four months. And um, it's uh, it's always been a hot topic for me because we've been doing GNA for, what, over a year? Yeah. And we, it always seems that we stumble at that 30 second mark. I was a little rude tonight. I apologize. But it was really concerned about what were, what I wanted to talk about, and that is the 30 seconds. Okay, um, it's funny. I'm in the health and wellness business. We all do this, but um, you know, when you want to talk about something, you have to have something to talk about, and that's kind of like a headline. You can use an object, you can use verbiage, you can use you know, make up a sentence, something that grabs people's attention. All right. This happens to be a new baby. It's on the National Geographic. He's going to learn a, I don't know if it's he or she, but this baby's going to live to be 120 years old. The same with the, the way the science is nowadays that, you know, it's possible. Okay? And they have the one, they have one picture in here. I always, I just had to show this to you. I don't know if you're a National Geographic uh, person or not. And if I can't grab it right off the bat, I'll forget it. I can't find it. So, anyway, it's about people getting older and everything. But, that's not the topic. So why is 30 seconds important? 30 seconds is a really important number. And it's important for you to recognize that as being a... <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> um, so the weather was really nice today. <laughs> so 30 seconds, it's really, uh, uh, it's really critical. That is the attention span of every human being on the planet, okay? And if you ask people anything, you know, you're going to get, some people think it's longer, you know, it's not. Uh, you look at a national newscast, you know, they get to give you a headline, they're going to talk for a minute and a half, and the, and the commentator at the end is going to give a 30-second summary of what's going on. They know exactly what is going on. They're, in fact, that is the perfect 30-second presentation to watch the news. Just don't repeat it. I don't like negativity, but... You know, you want to grab their attention, you want to talk your piece, you want to grab, you have an objective, okay? So, and the objective is what you do. And I don't care what it is, and it, it may not be a business. You have an objective to go out and talk to somebody. You want to have that objective in mind, all right? And so, there are certain things that, um, there are certain things that you want to ask um, while you're, uh, find the objective because it's important to know where your focus is going to be. Alright? So whenever you go anywhere, especially in a place like this, you want to understand what you're doing there. What is your goal? What 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 are you trying to accomplish when you get there? Okay? There should be something clear in your mind. And then of course it's like who what am I what what's the achievement? What what am I trying to accomplish while I'm there? Okay, you're looking for somebody, you want to talk to somebody, you want to move into a uh, a discussion, some type of a, a communication with that person, but you still have to have that focus, that goal. And then you can, um, and then you're looking for somebody. You're looking for somebody that will listen to you. You're looking to find out if you can connect with, you know, in a group like this, it's difficult. When you're on one on one, you're finding out things. You want to understand where they're coming from. So you, now you have that commonality that you know that interest and in, that shared interest so you can talk more about the common thing and still hold your focus to what you're accomplishing 
because if it is your business, you're going to ask questions, you're going to get to know them, you're going to find out their needs and wants. Okay? And then at that point, you're going to find out if you have anything you can offer them. Okay? So that's basically the, uh, you know, those type of steps you're going to want. So the 32nd, the 32nd uh, premise is to focus your thinking. You're going to want to do all the thinking that you can do within a very short amount of time, or thinking about what you want to accomplish in a very short amount of time. And that is something like a, 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 a think of it as a, 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 a news clip, a, a sound bite. Okay? You want to have something that grabs their attention. All right? Man bites dog. You know, stay tuned. It's like, well, how big was the dog? You know, or, or how big was the guy? Did the dog bite back? I mean, there's reasons why you want to maybe sit there and, and, and look and listen to that story, all right? And that's what you got to do. You want to have something that's going to bring people into that conversation pretty fast. And then you, uh, and you're going to, you can do this in writing, you can do this in speaking, you can um, do this during job interviews, you can do this talking to your kid. I mean, you know, there's all these things that you can do with this type of. Uh, uh, approach to grab somebody's attention so they'll start listening to you. But then you have to start uh, uh, becoming uh, more concise about that message. Okay, you can't just grab on and, and, uh, and hopefully it's going to sink in. You have to, be, you have to grab their attention, you have to tell them what you're going to do, and then you're going to expect some type of result. Okay, um, the, um, the 30 seconds is a time constraint, no doubt. I was always told, if you're going to have anything to say, write it out. Take 75% of it off, right off the top, and then take out all the unnecessary words and whatever, and then really hone it down to what you really want to do. And that's what this is all about. It's, it's about writing out what you're doing, your focus, taking out all the bad words, and then, you know, really getting into that, that meat and potatoes. Now, how long anybody that... Uh, how long anybody can stay focused is, like I said, it's 30 seconds. Because most people are thinking about sex, money, and everything else. Good. Okay? <laughs> so you, you want to grab that attention before they start wandering. <laughs> okay. um, wow. So, um, we, you know, the objective, like I said, is important here. You want to know why you're going there and what you're, what you're expecting out of that result. Now, that listening part, who's listening to the... Yeah, I don't know if any of you were listening to me, and that's hard because I went over my 30 seconds, so I don't know how a speech writer does it, except, you know, <laughs> you got something really profound to say, which I don't, but, you know, if you're looking for somebody to, you're, you're looking for somebody to give your message to, you want to know all you can about that person. And like I said, in a group like this, you know, we're all entrepreneurs, you know, that's half the battle right there, okay? Now, as entrepreneurs, you know, and if I want to uh, approach you about maybe something we're doing, you know, but I want to approach you first as a human being, I want to find out as much as I can about you so I can communicate with you so we can talk that interest, okay? And those, those um, uh, sorry about my notes here, guys, but um, the getting to know them is to identify with them. So we're using the right approach the right approach with that person so we can speak to them with that communication of understanding, okay? And that right approach is, uh, is exactly what I'm wanting to talk about using their language. So I have to get to know you so I can understand your language so we can communicate, okay? That's, that's really a, an important step. I can't, I can't, I don't think I can sell anti-aging products to the 20 year old. Okay? Maybe, but I don't think so. But so, I mean, that's knowing your customer, knowing what they're looking for, okay? If there's anything I can do to help them. Um, my game plan would be, after I'm looking for somebody to talk to, all right, my game plan is to get them to the next level of conversation. Okay, is there something I can help them with? We need to get together. I'd like to share this plan with you. I'd like to be able to um, share the product, the service, the whatever we're doing to see if there is that need. And then, um, and then of course it's the, uh, it's the, it's the, 
it's a, it's a, it's a statement. It's, it's, you're going to want to create a statement that once you get into that conversation, you want to create one statement that asks, that really looks for an answer from them. You know, is this something that is not, is this something that, that you're looking for? But, you know, is health really something that you're important, is important to you? Okay? It demands an answer. Okay? Yes or no? If they say yes, then you have something to go on. If it says no, then you got to move on. Okay? Or you can keep asking questions. Okay? So, the, um, it's knowing what you want. Okay? Knowing what you want is your objective. You have to know where you're at. That's the destination. That's the goal. You sit down, sorry. But um, um, you want to know who can give it to you. So you're going to know your person. You're going to know the person you're talking to, that person that can give you what you want. And then uh, once you know that person, when you have your objective, then you can go get what you want. Okay? You can go get it. So, the hook. And I like the hook. Because once we discuss about all these other things, you know, you're getting to know these people, you know your objective, you've got all this stuff. Now, that one statement I brought up earlier, that one statement, the hook. That is the that is the crux of your uniqueness. That is sitting down, writing down everything you know that's unique about what you do with your business. Uh, something that's interesting about your business. Uh, how can you apply any humor into that business? Okay, think about it. Write it down. Uh, Take out all the bad stuff, put it all in a very short 30 second message. Okay? And I think this is something that you're going to be able to carry with you all your life, whatever you do. And if you start thinking and focusing on that, you're, you're, I don't think you'll be talking to chirps and chips and all that. But it's going to help you focus on what your conversation is about when you, when you get into the conversation. Because you have ideas. And you want those ideas to get in there quickly and you want them to settle. Use a picture. Use you use uh, colorful language. <laughs> well, you know, use language that they're you know, appropriate colorful language, right? Uh, appropriate colorful yeah, language, yeah, right? Yeah. Depends who you're with. <laughs> but um, but so so you want to get them something that they can remember you by something that really a hook, something that got into them. So when they think of it or see it somewhere else, your name pops into their head right away. Okay. It's a, these are, there's several other steps that go on with this. I mean, apparently, first impressions are the best, okay? If I'm trying to sell a million dollars, I can't, or give away a million dollars, I can't look like somebody that doesn't have a million dollars, okay? And so, you know, think about what you look like. Get up and, and be confident, smile a lot, all right? Know what you're gonna say, look, the part that, you know, the confidence that you have what you're saying, all right, that you are willing to perform everything that you're, you're, you're everything that you're telling people. And then, obviously, you know, you smile about it. Carry yourself. Stand up when you're asked. Or don't, don't, you don't even have to be asked. Stand up, be first, be the confident person in the group. Sit in the front row. Things that people always told me, people watch you, people are always watching. Then that blows me away. People are looking for our success. They're waiting for our success, all right? To be very successful. And these people, we don't even know. They're watching. Um, I got a new job. People are watching. I don't know these people, all right? They give me a bad time, I bury them, because I know where all the trenches are. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> yeah, go, build, go dig me a hole, I'll be right back. But, um, you know, so, you know, you want, you want to have this type of a, an aura around you, okay? So, have your objective. You, you want to have something said in one sentence, okay? Something you can give somebody right off the bat that grabs their attention, okay? And that can be your objective, all right? Your objective is, why are you in business? Why are you doing what you're doing? What do I know about my business? You've got to know what you're talking about. Your objective, what am I trying to accomplish with this objective? And then go out find the people that are willing to listen to you. And I'll tell you, it's fun talking to people. And if you're in here, you're talking to people. All right? There's 
most people don't like that. So you're about 95% of everybody else in, this, I mean, in the world. So, you know, you've got to present yourself to that person in a positive way with the confidence and the knowledge to move them into their decision, okay? Because yes, we have to close. We have to ask for the money. We can only offer this to you one time if we sit down right now, okay? Buy now, okay? So that's a salesman approach, but that's what we do, frankly, and we have to do that well. My approach has always been soft. Get to know them, and then, you know, take their wallet and keys so they can't get <laughs> Because, no, no, I get, Bob told me not to do that. But, uh, but I mean, that, that's the whole approach. So your 30 seconds, all in a nutshell, is what that, this whole discussion is about. Know what you're talking about, look, look the part, and be confident when you're delivering. Okay. And I have one other little thing at the very end here. And I, uh, I like that. I had this. These are all my notes. It's funny. I only covered about one page. So I think the whole idea, the whole idea here is, you know, have a strong voice that emanates confidence, enthusiasm, sincerity. Be yourself. Okay. Now, real quick. Sometimes this 30 seconds is a is a is a, uh, a barrier to some people. But I have wrote, written this down. I'm going to do it real quick, and I have to read it because it's. I wrote it down, but I'm not a lousy memorizer. And I had my. I wanted somebody to put a 30 seconds on. Me. Margaret. <laughs> this is an example of 30 seconds of what it can do. Okay. Go. Communication effectively, persuasively, and concisely can be easily learned. How to get your point across in 30 seconds or less will show you how to get will show you how to get your listeners' attention, keep their interest, tell a wonderful story, ask for and get what you want, all in 30 seconds. You will be able to get your point across to your business associates, your family, your friends, and all the people you deal with. With the secretary, to the accountant, to the president of the company. Follow the simple steps that you learned tonight, use the easy techniques, you'll save time, accomplish more than you ever thought possible and have fun doing it. That was about five seconds ago. But um, that is a 30 second message. But it, it gives you a very colorful array of information. And it's, it's been, it's, it was really well honed. So think about it, work on it. And, and you know, I, like I said, I apologize for being rude not to that 30 seconds, but the whole point is that you can say a whole lot when you know what you're saying. Okay. You can have a Q&A? Yeah, sure. Why not? We're writing notes. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, yeah. I just want to touch upon something that you mentioned and share your thoughts on this because I know you've been an entrepreneur longer than I have. Um, you're, you're talking about you know you have to close the sales. You have to you know you don't want to be a pushover or you don't want to push your business on people, but you've got to bring a call to action or else nothing ever, is ever going to happen. And there are people out there that complain that I've been going to ten of your networking events. And I haven't made one piece of business. Well, what are you doing? Are you having one-on-one -on -one meetings? Are you getting to know I can trust people? Or are you just online firing messages at, uh, at people on Facebook saying, hey, check out my link and tell me what you think? That's not going to sell me. Is that going to sell you, Anthony? No. Is that going to sell anybody in this room here? So that was a really, really good point. So, you know, what do you think about the call to action? Well, actually, there's two calls to action, and, and you have to determine which one you want. One of them is the, uh, it literally is a, uh, a demand. Uh, there was an example about this lady that was at school, and she was watching her, the eighth graders, and the, she had the uh, ninth graders, and they were picking up smoking. And so her idea was to get, that she wanted to start an anti-smoking campaign. So she got, some, got her uh, teachers and some other people together. She goes, I want to start this campaign. We're going to sit down and have coffee and tea. We're going to discuss some of the ideas. Okay? She had an idea. She had, you know, she, she put it out there and she, now she's telling people what to do. Okay? She's sitting down. We're going to discuss ideas. That's a demand for action. And then there's a demand for reaction. 
And that the, the demand for reaction is the one that really calls people to say, um, you know, buy now. Or you can use the soft approach going, if, do you know somebody? Do you know somebody that might be interested, you know, you know, say, you know uh, learning more about their uh, retirement? You know, do you know somebody that might be uh, interested in uh, going out and uh, tasting new foods? Or you can say, you know, I know this gal, that's, uh, she's got this special going on, and uh, I'm going, why don't you go? And, maybe, and that's true networking, by the way. Because <laughs> if I could get somebody convinced to help her grow her business, then we're really in the way. We're doing the right thing. Yeah. Paint, painting pictures also is another way of, of uh, clothes. You can, you, can, you can actually design something that, that's very close to you in the heart and, and move people into that emotional realm that is such a, it's so close to you that they're, that they're actually wanting now to get close to you to do what you, you, know, do what you ask them. But that, that is probably the most powerful. And don't manipulate that. I, you know, it's really hard. Like you get a lot of the emotional segment. You know, if you're a dentist, if you break your hands. So that's threats, but I mean, it's, it can be very emotional. But um, you know, you want to you want to paint those pictures. Okay. All right. I can sit down now. Nobody has any other questions. If not, I have one more question. So, what are your thoughts about branding, like branding yourself? Um, there, there's a lot. I like branding. You know, I. Um, I like, <laughs> we're in a color coordinated business, I mean, and I have, plus my, t I have a baseball team that's orange. So, um, I like to, I like to wear orange whenever I can, especially on Fridays. I'm covering two things. I'm covering my, my business is orange. We usually have something written, you know, on the shirt or whatever like that. Moving that, that color as a, you know, it's very easy to see. And if you do that over and over again, that's, that's one of my favorite branding. Uh, techniques, you know, becoming more consistent about how you are approaching this business. I don't believe in doing a branding thing to me is consistency. If you like to jump from business to business, nobody knows what you're doing. You know, it's hard to stay consistent if you're still jumping. So you want to be, you want to be consistent. You want to wear, you know, like T-Bird. I mean, you know, T-Bird is probably the epitome of branding. But um, purple. And by the way, T-Bird. Hello. But um, <laughs> you want to, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to personify that business. You know, make yourself unique. Do something that people are going to recognize, and and, and do it. Live it. You know, we're, we don't. We're not in business just to be in business. We are the business. We have to be the business. You breathe it 24 hours a day. And if your tax man only says that you only do this like 45 minutes a, a week or something like that. You're breathing this 100, you know, 24 hours a day. So that helps your business in that sense, when you're taxed, that point of view. So I mean, you know, you've got to think that. You work where you sleep, okay? Or is it the other way around? You sleep where you work. I'm going to elaborate on a point you made, the consistency. I just finished a book while we were up in Seattle over the Labor Day weekend, and it was all on uh, marketing and focusing your business. And branding was a big part of what I say. Half of the book was on branding. And it's your appearance. What does somebody think of you? Uh, what What's the image that you're giving? And consistency was one of the things 98% of businesses draw. Consistency means your head, um, letterhead, matches your business card, matches the banner on your website, the banner on your Facebook, the way you introduce yourself in LinkedIn, your summary in LinkedIn. If you're not in LinkedIn, take a serious look at it. That's the business world in Facebook. Um, you have a summary. It's your 30 second area. In fact, it, 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 I just read another book on how to maximize your results on LinkedIn, and the summary is a 30 second pitch. You start out, this is who I am, this is what I do, that's all your branding, your words should match your, your visuals, and that your orange is a prime example. You're consistent with that. People are comfortable with somebody that's consistent. They don't change. If you're going to do business, 
if I'm going to trust you with my retirement, I want to know you are who you say you are. Your consistency is the only thing that shows that. If I don't know who you are, you're this vague image. Because, well, I hear you're doing this, or I hear you're doing that, or you're... I'm sorry. I've got to have consistency in my retirement. And that, so that was really great. You're dead on with that. Uh, and both those books were touching exactly, supporting. Like, you're the, I don't have a dress shirt that's wearing you yet. I'm going to wear time. I got some nice socks. Got to wear But uh, I guess I have to wear a tie once in a while. This is Tracy for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy's close to the area. And Margaret, I love Tracy. Margaret loved that one. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes? Yeah, well, say, for yeah. instance, you're in uh, a line somewhere and you have a sign that says, you know, consistent with that 30 minute, that 30 second. Keep getting better, making it better, but stay consistent with it. Know it, rolls it off, off your mouth, you know. When most people ask me what I do, you know, I, we, we just opened up a division of an anti-aging, uh, an anti-aging division with, uh, with my company. And frankly, I think most people are getting tired of growing old gracefully. Does that affect, is that what you, does that, how does that affect you? I'll look at that. I'm getting all frustrated. But does that affect you? Listen, if I could show you how you could grow more gracefully getting older, would you want to know more about it? And that is it's something that I can repeat over and over again. And I can't do that to everybody. I wouldn't do that to a 20-year-old, you know. But to a 20-year-old, you know, I, mean, I just started a new division that can possibly help you with your future financial situation. Would you like to know how that can happen? Try to get the appointment and move on. Take the information to them. Don't jam anything down their throat. But get that 30 seconds now. That's so important. Okay? So next time you're here, <laughs> I won't have to hold the clock. So. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Clay. Kind of something that she was mentioning um, one, of the, one of the issues that I, I have is coming up to somebody that you don't know you never talked to you know, you're standing in line like you're saying how do you start that 30 seconds I mean, a lot of times do you have difficulty speaking to people uh, just that you don't individually know? I do you know in, in, in groups I have no problem yeah. Individually or one-on-one, -on -one, I it's it's hard. It's hard when we to get to the start that conversation. If we when we get to the fishbowl, we'll bring you up for three minutes. You bring that up, and we'll, <laughs> we can we can all talk about it. <laughs> because really, you have to you have to become more you have to become more outgoing. You have got to step forward. Okay, it's the world. <laughs> I'm going to stand up. I'll talk for hours. <laughs> but just to, just as a as a summary, but you know, space is curved, right? That's kind of hard to wrap your head around, right? But as, as you have to, because after a while, you, it becomes so easy. You don't care who you talk to. I can I can look at somebody's shoes. I can not from the point of ooh, those are nice, but you know, you can you can look at something and, and start a conversation. It doesn't matter what it is. And if you get them talking, and if they like you. The conversation starts, and that's where you have to have your objective. All right. Once the conversation starts, and you get to identify that yourself with them, now you have something to talk. About. And so, if you're not comfortable talking to people, network marketing is not for you. But it's learned. It can move. You can. You're, you'll learn. It'll change your life once you get that under your system, under your belt. Okay.
okay, well, it doesn't matter what you say off the bat, just go out and say it. Let's hang out sometime. <laughs> How's that? Sounds like a good idea. I'm Greek, so, you know, yeah, yeah. hope you can handle that. <laughs>